Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, we wanted to show you that we got brand new trailers. And I know what you're probably thinking, dude, it's just a trailer, chill out, man. No, that's what I was thinking too. But really, these things are really cool. I wanna show you, check it out. Okay, now when you special order a trailer, the options, the options, 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 options. They're endless. Here's what we chose. For us, what works best for us is we like the gooseneck hitch, which connects to the center of the ball over the axle. Have you ever been in one of those trucks and it's like bouncing down the road? It's because you're connecting at the very end of the vehicle versus over the axle. We definitely like this style of a trailer a lot better and it works a lot better for us. This is a Maxi YDX trailer. What is YDX? YDX gives you the hydraulics. We went with a red trailer and I can't figure out why we chose red still. Oh, that's right, it's because it's in our logo. We chose to go with the chain and boomer storage because we're always throwing chains, we're always throwing boomers. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, 18. There's 18 spots for chains and boomers. So that is a really nice feature. Nice thing about hanging stuff like that is they're not getting all connected. So when you grab one, you're grabbing the whole entire thing. I'm so glad that part of my life is over. How long of a trailer did we get? Uh, hold on. I thought I saw a scratch. From this point right here, beginning of the deck, all the way to the end. That's 36 feet long. Let's talk about what you don't see. This trailer has 12 inch framework underneath it. So this, this right here and that right there is two 12 inch I-beams. Two dual axles. The trailer itself weighs 10,500 pounds. It's just a little bit heavier than our last one. Tires are 16 ply. The rims are 17 and a half. It's made to haul some weight. When you sell quality fencing materials and that's the only thing that you install is quality, yeah, that stuff weighs a lot. I know what you're thinking. How do they get those skid steers up there? From this pin right here to the end of right here, it's a giant ramp. It's 12 feet long and it's on hydraulics. It falls down to the ground. You can load whatever you want. How gentle is this ramp? Well, just the other day, I actually was able to haul a Tesla on this thing. I was actually able to drive it up the ramp and not bottom out. So that's how gentle these ramps are. Really nice. Inside the cabinet is the brains of the operation. We have two batteries. We got our hydraulic pump and we have our four button remote. We're controlling landing gear, which is on hydraulics, and we're controlling the, the end ramp. Our little test button here. So if we push on that, it'll tell us what condition our batteries are in. The trailer should be charging while it's being towed behind the truck. And also on the outside here, they give you a nice charge port to be able to plug in an extension cord. Also to go with the trailers, since the trailers have hub oil, we like to carry the hub oil with us and there's nothing worse when the hub oil container falls over and spills hub oil everywhere. So we have come up with a hub oil holder and a WD holder. These things are very easy to make. I'm sure it wouldn't take too much time, but if you don't have the time, you don't want to make it, make sure and see the link below. They do just bolt right into an existing box. All you have to do is drill two holes and away you go. So there's one more thing in here and it's the Hydrostar. These are hydraulic over electric brakes. Some of the nice things about the hydraulic disc brakes, let me check before I say that. To be able to change out the brakes or anything like that, you don't have to pull the drum off. You can just pull the discs right out. Undo a couple bolts, fold it down, just like the discs on your car. Only these discs are a lot bigger. They're a lot beefier. Oh, my finger is getting tired. It's so tired. We're not getting lazy, we're just getting smarter. So the diamond plate is really nice, but when it gets powder coated and it rains and it snows and it's icy, it can be very, very slick. Getting a piece of equipment up this can be challenging at some point in time. It is nice because they went ahead and put on these traction bars for us for the equipment to go ahead and grab, so it's a lot easier for us to get equipment up on the trailer when it is slick out and the deck surface is a little slippery. I know what you're thinking. That was really cool, but you're not not—you're not all the way, you're hanging over the ramp. Well, that's because I'm parked over the axles. You wanna make sure that when you load your trailer, you put whatever it is, your heaviest object, the majority of your weight, over the center of the axles. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna lift that tail up and it's gonna lock into place. I have all the way till right here 
be able to put all my weight. How much can this thing lift? That's a dang good question. It can lift 10,000 pounds and it can hold 8,000 pounds. I tell you, we're not getting lazy, we're just getting smarter. All right, we're, we're talking about the lifting capacity of the tail, the power, the power of the tail, feel the power. So we're gonna put our cameraman's car on the tail and we're gonna lift it. And if I drop it, it'll be all right, just another day, just another day at the office. <laughs> oh yeah, you hear that? You hear them ponies? Sorry, gas is expensive, I know. Okay, we're gonna have to do a little bit of a running start. See, I told you we wouldn't hurt it. The whole entire car is on the tail. Is it gonna work? There you go. Can you do that with your manual fold ramps? I think not. That is nothing but awesome. Now, I know you're wondering, what's the cost of something like that go for? Uh, roughly about $30,000 and I, I know what you're thinking. It was totally worth it. Of course, when you have a bougie trailer like this, what kind of a truck do you think we should be pulling this with? Make sure and see that video right here. We'll give you a full tour of our truck, show you what kind of tools we're packing around and how we set them up. Deanna with SWI, you have a good dang day.